Please, I swear. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. The modesty of a woman is no laughing matter. Both law and every decent human beings will try to protect it whenever a need arises. But what happens when delinquents try to cross that line to fulfill their perverted needs? Please, I just want to order, please. Yeah, we'll get you another one. You need it. I need to get this. From someone exposing themselves to someone trying to force themselves onto others. Watch as these degenerates are caught by the officers who swore to protect the society from these criminals. I'm trying to go see where my mother is. Your to... mom's staying here? Yes. Where? The first incident is centered around Omar. On May 14th, 2023, Law enforcement responded to a Florida hotel where a man was attempting to break into a woman's room. Hey, how are you doing? What's going on? Talk to me real quick. I need to talk to you right now. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep you out of trouble. Do you stay here? Yes. Which room? I'm going to. Huh? I'm going to. Officers soon realized that the man was in a disturbed mental state, exhibiting erratic behavior and uttering nonsensical statements. Let's get into the details. Where is it? I was trying to talk to my mother, so if you want to, if that's what People say, call you in because you're dancing around, you're acting all weird. Did you take anything, you're not getting in trouble. Tell me. What's wrong with dancing? Did you take anything? I plead the fifth. Did you take anything? And not my mother. Are you taking... Where's your ID? I'm trying to make this easy for you, guy. Come on, let go. For what? Because you're talking to me and I said, look, you're I'm back. talking to me. There's not anything wrong you're doing right now. If you don't understand, I'm, I'm helping you. I'm trying to help right. you. Are you a human? Are you Absolutely. Am I a human? Yes. Can you respect me like I respect you? I'm uh -huh. trying. I'm trying to talk no, to you. No, you're not. That's not respect. If I do what you do, do you, see, do you see his respect? I'm trying to go see where my mother is. Trying Your to... mom's staying here? Yes. Where? I don't. I thought she was in the room, but she is in the room. So you're not staying here, though. Why don't I we am. Go, look, I have Why a... don't we go to the front look, office? Look, look, look. Come here. Come on, come on. Right, I'm coming. Where's your shoes? The officer approached Omar about his suspicious activities. However, he refused to reply to the officer rationally. He said that he was going to see his mother in her room. He took the officer with him in front of a room to show that he was staying there. Is Omar telling the truth and his mother does live in that room? Just see what happened next. I'm trying to go talk to my mother. So why is she not opening the door? Because me and my mama have issues. She has genuine. I just want to talk to her so I can calm down because I have anxiety. I have all these different... That's why I'm trying to help you. You ain't listening when I'm telling you I'm trying to go to my room. Because Your mom's I'm... not in here, they told me. My mother is in here. So I know where, do you, where do you live? Right there. I'm in this right room, there. you got the key? I'm trying to talk to my fucking mother right here. So you got the room. key? No, I don't have the keys. The people I know is in here. I'm trying to talk to my mother because she's in there, but she having too much. Why don't we go to the front office? Yeah, I ain't going to no. Going to give me in here talk to my mother so I can go to my room. Where is your room? Look, take, take, I want to talk to Show my me your room. Show me your room number. Right here. My room right here. What do you mean my it's room right, right there? Here. You said this. Your room is over my, there. My, my room right here. My mother's right in there. I, they said no. That's not your room. You You're not staying there. You came to me. My mother's in here. My property's in there. I'm trying to get it in here. my room? Something mine is in Which here. Which number? Room number you in? My mother's in here. Okay. There's a bald head fat Where is your room? There. And he's locking me in there. He swung up me in my face. So f the nigga in here. One nigga got a gun on me, I guess. So f the nigga. And I tried to go up in there. Which one? This one? Why are you trying to go over there? Because I tried to come back. Okay. I wanted to see my mother. Omar explained that he was there to talk to his mother about his anxiety problems. The officer's repeated attempts at informing him that his mother was not there fell to deaf ears. The fat mother Is that your mom? Yes, this, this right you here. You might be glad. That was gonna be you gonna swing on me for open the door? Hey, put your hands behind your back. Hey, hey. Put your hands behind your back. So, so, so you saw what you said? Man, man, man. How the f*** I try to the f*** off of him? Want me to grab him? Yeah. Come on, man. Let me talk to you. Come on. All right. Hold on. Oh, so you want to bang this shit. You turn around. So, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey. Turn around. Hey, let me tell you something. Turn around. Turn around. Listen, this is dinner. Turn around. When the occupant of the room answered the door, the officers tried to detain Omar. He then became physically aggressive. He started resisting the officer. All right. Look, you listen. You listen. Give me a tip. Look. Look, man. Put this. I ain't scared of you. I'm Listen. God himself. My name is Ezekiel. Buddy, 
I tried to Listen. keep it quiet and peaceful. He tried to swing on me when I opened the door. Okay. But well, he ain't opened the door. I ain't bang on it. He he f***ed on me and slammed it in my face. Okay. Someone opened the door. He tried to f***ing run to the other side of f***ing like a minute. Hey. And then you let him hit me and then you over here doing that. My Listen. set, my fingers in here dead. Listen. He raped me. her. I heard it. I'm going to put this hand behind your back. I'm going to. Look, look, look. Just listen. You, you're not listening to me. And this is making it bad for us. Of course, this, this is the first time a black man in a... It's a black... Hey. Man, come here. Why is she thinking he's big and bad just because he's doing it hard? My mother don't love me this much to let your fat ass mother see? When he killed my best friend Raven, I'm gonna make sure my mother know where you at and her family know where you at. Cause you ain't slick. I saw her get dragged in here trying to open the door. I saw her. And I heard her. She screamed my name. She screamed for me. This nigga. My uncle in here. My family in here. This I don't know. Listen carefully. What is what is the uh procedure you do when you catch a uh rape and the uh, homicide? We'll take care of that downstairs, no, no, no. but I'm telling you right now, you need, he... to, you need to chill. No, no, look, listen. You need to chill. I'm trying. What did you take? What did you take? Who called you? What did they tell you I took? Who called you? What did they tell you I took? You miss him? Look, you trying to get away from where the body is, son? I'm what? trying to, I'm t look, before we go, go. stop walking like you trying to get away from a dead body. You want to see a dead white girl that he killed? He raped a dead, he raped, he raped a white girl. Do you have anything on you? I want to talk to you. Do you have anything on you? I'll talk to you in a minute when you, I sit you in the look, car. I, I got a firearm on me, I believe, but... Where? I don't know, but listen. I got it from when he hit, when he swung on me, and he, he basically swung... What's like, his name? Mark. He's a ball headed he's a ball headed guy. He swung on me and went, whenever he whenever he swung at me, he swung at me and it was like a swing when he opened the door. You can ask the lady to cross the street in that same in that same direct area. Furthermore, he then started making absurd statements. The officers finally handcuffed him. They were able to calm him down a little. The officers speculated he might have used contraband. They searched him and found a weapon in his front pocket. Alright, um, I just need to get your names so we can kind of move forward, okay? What's your first name? Omar. Omar? Omar? Ezekiel? From the Bible. I'm, my, my life is all like the Bible right now. What's your last name? And what's your birthday? December 27th, 1995. The reason why I'm the... Same age. How are you? Give me one second. Hey. Are you from Florida? I'm from Jersey. I moved to Florida years ago. I'm, I go to college and all of that. I'm yeah, from, like a Florida ID card or driver's license or anything. Uh, I, I had. I don't know why was it wasn't there. I I took most of the stuff out of my pocket. So one seven six one two six five name date of birth. So I got a question. If I did find that um like information that led to the convict arrest of a conviction, oh, and you also check for a concealed weapon. Okay? I got one. You got one? Yeah. I'm gonna have my face blown off my phone. Can you have that what? Listen, you mm -hmm. You gotta listen to me because it's like, you know, like when I'm. You, how do you do those emergency calls when you're in trouble? Like the distress thing? Like this, right? Finally, when they placed him in the squad car, he told the police that he was born in New Jersey, but shifted to Florida years ago. I know. Okay, it started kind of yesterday. So you guys are staying in that room up there where we just went in, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it was like three of us, me and you, and Mark. And, and um, Donna. Yeah. And we was up there last night, and yeah. she come back running in the room. She like, this dude, I said, what dude? She said, he tried to give me to my $200 coming in this room, and she said he got some, some f***ing, like, paper over his mouth, he like took, old teeth. He took uh -huh. the gum from a rapper and put it right this. He goes, you know who I am? Like that. I think that's full teeth. <laughs> no, I don't know. Jesus. Right, those are gum after this. Okay. So, <laughs> so like, he was trying to like lure me in, and he kept kind of like following me like this, and like really trying. And I'm like, hey, I'm like, um, I said I'm with him. He's like, I got scared, you know, I don't know. So she I'm ready to yeah. So I went out there and I let him know. I said, listen, man. I said, you can't be approaching these women like this. Uh, you scam them. Right. I said, when you see that lady walking, bro, leave her alone. The old lady right here, don't say nothing to them. Leave them alone. The police then questioned the victim. She informed that Omar tried to lure her by offering money and started following her. 
Uh, this morning he trying to break the f***ing door to come yeah. in. So he just walked up to your door out of nowhere? Yeah, he, he, he stayed, started to sleep. He right I up. mean, all of a sudden I hear, I thought it was his family. She woke me up. Uh, sometimes his family come here or his dad. She woke me up, like, she said, she said somebody had been on the door real hard trying to get in. I'm thinking it's my family yeah. too, so I said, hold on. And when I peek, I he can't he see nothing. He covered it. He covered so it I said, who is, f is this? Well, when I open the door, he... Put yeah, his foot like this. He said, let me in the room with this girl. I said, man, get your ass punched him, man. Get so your he ass open the door here. and clock him. First, did I he get in at all? He, he, he had his body was in. Yeah, yeah, I pushed yeah, yeah, him yeah, ass really, out. He just really got I pushed him out. Okay. Yeah. I mean, okay. he must have been on some shit real hot because he just, like, you know, right. they get that strength. Yeah. <laughs> they thought he was able to. But he been here, like, three days and... He didn't, he never said nothing crazy yeah. to nobody in there. So after you pushed him out, the door closed again, and you stayed out until I got here? He stayed right there with no, you, his hand in his pocket. Okay. So that's while what, we found the gun in the front right pocket. That's what I, yeah. and I tell you, yeah. hand was, he kept his hand he in his guy. pocket, talking about some, wrong. calling somebody on the phone, telling them, yeah, I'm at the door now, come on and all this. That's what I told him, you know what? Just chill, you call So when he walked in and tried to get in your room, did he have the hand in his pocket? He had his hand in his pocket then. Okay. He had his hand like this and his foot in the door. I already know I'm not stupid. Okay. So when I punched him, I pushed his ass out the door and shut the door and locked it. Okay. I told her, I said, now you call the police. Okay. Omar also tried to get into her room forcefully. Omar was charged with burglary while armed. While Omar was trying to get into a woman's room, our next individual tried to pull someone in instead. What are you on probation for? Uh, a misdemeanor assault. The next incident involves 19-year-old Andrew Jewell. He assaulted a young girl in a store. Hi. Hi. Um, my daughter was apparently attempted to be pulled into the bathroom by a young man here. Okay. Well, well, that's the manager. He's a, he's a I said a young man. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. My, I was right around the corner at the racks where the clothes were. My son came over and told me someone was trying to grab her and take her into the bathroom. Okay. I obviously went over there and he was inside with her trying to get out of the bathroom, crying. On August 25th, 2023, the cops responded to a mother's report in Michigan. And during an interview, the woman said that her daughter was assaulted by Andrew. That's another reason why I don't believe that he tried to push her out because I saw her okay. in the bathroom trying That's to get out. Funny way you told me that. Okay, I would like you to not be around her, please. That's fine. And she told me that she was not trying to get into the bathroom at all. The part that showed where he's going to the bathroom, um, she was up front at that time, but... And when you found him, she was in the bathroom? She was in the bathroom, and he was in the bathroom behind the door, because the door, okay. like, opens. Okay. In. In? To, okay. And I saw her trying to get away and, like, crying. Okay. Was Did he have a hand on her, or just she was trying to... I couldn't see, because the door, I could see, like, half of her. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And she... While being questioned, the victim's mother stated that her daughter was pulled into the store bathroom against her will by Andrew. She added that her daughter was crying and trying to escape. She then explained the situation to the officer. So, is this the bathroom in question? So, the way I questioned it was is... All right, so... Just, oh, just head right in here and we'll right talk in, in just a moment. We're right there in a the second. So, this is what he explained to me. That he was in the bathroom, okay? Mm-hmm. And he said someone pushed in, he went like this, and he went like this, grab and said, hey, you can't be in here. But, you guys get over Head on in there. So, I'll forward it to you. Yep. I'll let you. Did you got an ID on you? Yes, but can I talk to you? Well, I need your ID so I know who I'm talking to first. I'm going to go to jail, ain't I? Because everybody's going to believe everything. The store manager updated the police on Andrew's situation. The police gathered the evidence in the meantime. Upon contacting him, the officer asked about his ID. Hey, can I talk, please? Yeah, go ahead. I was in the bathroom. Before I shut the door, I told her, because they pick a free toy, you can ask them up there. I told them that you guys can get a free toy. So they go there looking at the toys. I shut the door. When I was using the bathroom, the little girl walked in on me. 
and she made her halfway in the doorway. I freaked out and tried to slam the door and it hit her. That's why she was crying. I can't go to jail, dude. I'm on probation. What are you on probation for? Uh, a misdemeanor assault. I can't. Misdemeanor assault for what? I don't know. I. Where do you live at? The rescue mission. Please, I can't go to jail. I'm so screwed. Andrew told police that he did nothing wrong and that he was using the bathroom when a little girl walked in. He also revealed that he was on probation for a misdemeanor assault. The cameras reveal clear evidence of who is responsible. It doesn't show. See, there's the little girl right there. Andrew already went to the bathroom. See, here she's coming to the bathroom. little boy found but the little girl never goes on that side then let me speed it up a little bit it shows her the whole time but it shows him coming the little boy comes back over and he goes to my mom seeing that shows Andrew going into the back room okay but he comes back out 42 Oh, See, now this is farther down, and I'll show him coming back out into the bathroom. Come on. So that doesn't add up with the video camera. Mm -mm. But he's saying, see, that's where he comes out again in there. But he doesn't go to the bathroom, see? He comes around here and started looking for us to see what we were at. I'm in the office. Heather's right there. Crystal's right there. And see, he's looking for the little girl right now. He just saw the little girl walk back over there. And there's a the little boy, see? Now he's walking that way. So her story adds up more than his. Mm -hmm. got that. So I will, when I get, yep. I'll get that. Let me see, there's a little girl over there. And that's all the video we have because no one else moved in that period of time until he comes running up screaming at me saying, hey, they're calling the cops on me. Go ahead and get off the phone. You taking me to jail? Yeah. Please, please. Get off the phone. I swear, I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. Turn around, put your hands behind your back right now. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear. Stop. His backpack's still back there. I swear to God. I swear to God. I can do nothing. <laughs> Can you at least not hold my arm so tight that hurts? The surveillance camera showed that the mother's story was right. The officer decided to arrest Andrew. During the arrest, he started weeping. He kept swearing to God on his way to the squad car. Andrew Jewell faces several charges, including attempted kidnapping. While Andrew tried to pull the victim into a private corner, the next individual tried to live out his deranged fantasies out in public. Let's go. The third incident is caused by Nathan Jefferson. On November 19th, 2022 in Florida, law enforcement was called to Walmart in response to a request to escort a man out of the store. Asset Protection had observed the man engaging in inappropriate behavior towards other customers. Hey yo, my man, come on, let's go. Come on. Walmart. 
When an officer approached to remove him from the premises, the man's response was unpredictable. Got one right Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Now, stay right there. Now, 22-6A The suspect started running away from the cops and ignoring their commands. The officer gave pursuit and deployed a taser. Nathan was pulled to the ground and handcuffed. Being handcuffed means he gives it up and starts to cooperate, right? But in Nathan's case, the opposite happens. Okay. Well, man, I was trying to talk to you and have you leave the store. Why? Because you're jacking off, following those women around. But now, you're going to jail. For what? Resisting arrest, fleeing, <laughs> lewd and lascivious behavior. I was leaving. You already went to jail. Okay. Just give me a ticket. You already went to jail. Don't make us have to dump you in here. All right. Can I get some water first, please? You'll get some water. Please. We're going to go in this office. You're going to sit down. My phone's fell. Okay. We'll get it. Go in here. My phone's fell. Please. We'll get it. No, you're not. Somebody go pick it up my phone. Let's go. Phone, We're going to get your phone. Get inside. Step out. Have a seat. He refused to follow instructions. He thought his mind games would let him escape this situation. The cop warned him numerous times. He was escorted to the Walmart office. Several other officers arrived at the scene. He kept resisting while asking for his phone. First name? Nathan. What's your middle name? None. Date of birth? <sighs> please, I get someone I want to please. Yeah, we'll get you another one. You need to, I need to get this. What's your date of birth? Okay. So your last name is Jefferson? Jefferson. First name is Nathan? Nathan. Your date of birth? 4 23 Okay, so that's different than what you gave me. First, you gave me 524. 4, I didn't say 5. So 4 23 Let me read this first, okay? <laughs> I'm required to warn you before you make any statement that you have the following constitutional rights. So the reason I read those to you is because right now you've been arrested for lewd and lascivious behavior. I got it. No, you just want me to rough one, bro. Exposure, exposure of sexual organs before at a 24. 24? The suspect refused to answer the police questions. Later, his statements were inconsistent, but eventually he told the police his name. The officer read his Miranda rights. He refused to admit all the allegations. The police attempted to find his ID through facial recognition software. They also discovered that he gave them a fake name. Hey, he ha he's on probation. He got a 49 for VOP and more of the same. He got a history of 43 and 31 on Aaliyah resistant with, so. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna have five minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to think there's something in my shoes. 
Okay, keep walking. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got you. I got you. Up. 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 Get in the car. Yo, you come up. Bro, you're so extra. The officers also found that he was on probation and had a criminal record. They inspected him for safety concerns. On his way to the squad car, he attempted to run away again, but the attempt was quickly shut down. He was seated in a squad car and was transported to jail. He was charged with simple battery, lewd and lascivious behavior, resisting and giving a false name. While Nathan could not keep his hands off himself, our next creep's hands were everywhere where it shouldn't be. The last incident revolves around 33-year-old Gary Moultrie. On June 9, 2023, a registered sex offender was arrested at a Walmart in Suwannee, Georgia. He was inappropriately touching female customers and capturing indecent photos of others. He just did it again to these, to these two females right what's, here. What's he doing? Walking around grabbing the He's right there. This dude here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can call back 17 and show him if you want. You got him. Uh, he just turned that home. Yeah. He's coming towards the front. Yeah, he's coming towards. He's been. He's circling. He's. Yeah. He's like the second one. He's tried to. Or this is the second. The first. The first one we called on camera. Pharmacy. Okay. Yeah. Guy like this might get freaky, dude. Just yeah. stand back away. Okay. Move, move. It's coming outside. The police conducted an urgent search throughout the establishment, prompted by security footage exposing Gary's inappropriate behavior. He immediately ran on foot when he saw the officers. Multiple officers gave chase, and others converged on the location. Moultrie's big escape plan failed in the garden center. <laughs> Okay, can you uh, search him, please? Sir, since you got gloves on, can you uh, want to roll him? Can you yank the palms? Yeah. Where'd you get him at? In the chest. Gotcha. Right above the belt. Mm -hmm. Bring it up for more. You know, go for it. Code four. We have one man, to, one male detained. Hold on, hold on. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. You bend him on my arm. Hold on. You get situated. Lay down. Here, I got his leg cap. Stand still. I'm pulling these out, alright? Alright. Here you go. Here you go. Put your hands. I don't either. I'm out. I can hold him. Good. This is my thing on 86 penny. Tampa or Sinatra. Tom Ely, Kennedy Road, between two roommates for 237. Tampa, are they separated? You want me to fix these cuffs? Are they double locked? No. Go ahead and double lock. Double lock. Look 
you guys are resting for. Oh, that was a sexual easy. battery. That employee right there. Gary attempted to divert an officer's attention by claiming false emergencies. He was being caught by several cops and handcuffed. The cops made him stand and inspected him. Finally, he got his instant karma in the end, but the arrest didn't stop his mischievous activities. They got video footage of him in the store doing it. Uh, they've got some. You've got video footage? Yeah, we got video footage. Yeah. I'll grab it for you, LT, if you want. I can always come back. I'll put the seat there. I was like, I don't see anyone over here. So I was like, I'm going to hang out over here. And then she's like, he's coming. So as soon as I got in, she closed it. Yeah, so I'm the gate down here. And I'm shot in there. And I started coming and sprinting towards Lawn and Garden in case he popped out. Yeah, so that's why I was standing over there. Pull for radio, 109 is 1095, one male. I love that he broke his phone on purpose. He broke his phone on purpose, he started slamming it on the ground. Uh, 41, you wait. Okay. See if one of y'all can go find his Got you. Is it registered to him? Okay. Alright, yeah, just let me know. Uh, no. What you want me to do with this car? Uh, just run it and see. See what, what comes up? Alright. You want me to impound it? Let me know. I will. Do you need a battery? Yeah, I've got one. Police disclosed that he sought to eliminate evidence of his actions by breaking his phone. He was escorted to a police cruiser and transported to jail. He was charged with sexual battery and resisting arrest. If you enjoyed these true crime video, subscribe to watch more.